Yo, 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 Jam Hyatt, what's up? Just wanted to make a short, short video here and uh, a few comments on uh, UFC Boston. It's going to be real brief, but uh, decent card, weird card. Um, what I'd like to talk about, well, first, let me go over some of the fights, some, high, some of the fights I enjoy, some of the performances. I thought the uh, Macy Barber fight was pretty good, and uh, I, I like the girl. She, uh, she's, she's ferocious, man. She's vicious, you know. She might not be the cleanest looking fighter. Her techniques and everything might not be the cleanest, but the girl's got a lot of tenacity. She's got a lot of heart, and she's enjoyable to watch. She's a little crazy if you listen to her, but, uh, I enjoyed it. I thought she had a good performance, but, uh, her wanting to be the youngest UFC champion, she got two years to do it. I don't think she'll be able to beat Valentina, Valentina Shevchenko even in two years' time. Valentina's just on another level from her. But you never know, but her, just the striking differential, you're never going to catch up to Valentina because, I mean, she's been, her whole life been doing uh, new time kickboxing. And uh, her ground gang is solid. She's strong as an ox. So I think she's going to be, Barbara's strong, but she's going to be way stronger. Um, talk about some of the other fights. The Joe Lozon fight. I, I was happy for Joe, man. It's been a while since we've seen him in there. And uh, it's a while since we've seen um, him get a W. That said, man, he got a W in the garden in his home home area. And uh, I think Joe should go ahead and hang it up, man. That should be the way to call your career. Go up, on, go out on a W. Enjoy that. You know, that's a big moment. It's going to be one of the biggest moments he has. I think it's a good way to end his career because Joe's over the last few years before this fight, I mean, he's been getting, he's taken a lot of damage and been hurt a lot. He's had a lot more L's than W's. So to see him in the win college, I think that, I think he should go out on top. And Joe, I mean, he's, a, he's I've always been a fan of Joe Lozon. There's never been a boring Joe Lozon fight, never once. So, but I like to see the guy not take any more damage. But that takes us to the co-main event. I'm sorry. Gaier Rodriguez versus Jeremy Stevens. And this fight was a burner. Uh, I think the decision went the right way. But honestly, I think that they should have stopped that fight or it went earlier. Um, Jeremy was taking a lot of unanswered shots. I mean, he might have still been moving around and flailing around. But at some points, he was just laid back with his hands over his face. He wasn't trying to... And Yair was just kind of like kneeling next to him. And he wasn't trying to get a guard. He wanted, And Yair was just hitting him with shots one after another after another. And Jeremy wasn't trying to... I mean, he was just curled up in a ball. I think when a guy's curled up in a ball, they need to call it. That's it. Because that's not... To me, that's not intelligently defending yourself. If you're just taking... If you take five unanswered shots, heck, if you take three or four unanswered shots, at what time... I mean, we see... People die. We saw a guy die recently in boxing, man. These guys don't need to take all this damage. So, anyway, I think they should call that one um, earlier. But another thing about Jeremy Stevens is, man, he's weak to the body. We've seen now how to how to the uh, we've seen now how to end Jeremy Stevens just like Cowboy Cerrone. You hit him to the body and they're done. Because remember the all the punch from Aldo and. Stevens to the body and dropped him. Now that kick from Yair to, to the body, man. He, he doesn't take body shots very well. But it was still a good fight. And I got, you got to give it up to Jeremy, though, man. He put it up. He kept fighting. I mean, he didn't give up, man. And he had his moments in the fight after that. So, uh, still, I think I don't like to see Jeremy's taking had a lot of wars, a lot of fights. I don't like to see him taking more damage than he needs to take. Then we have the co-main crap event. Greg Hardy versus whoever that dude was. I forgot his name. Another tomato can. A, sh a guy with five inches shorter, eight something inches less in reach. So that's a 12 inch gap in, in differential of reach, really, when, when you add height. He's a big, pudgy guy. And he wasn't any good, really, man. The guy never threw a kick. He never tried to grapple. He never tried to take down. All he did was punch, and his punches, not one of them were straight down the pipe. Um, they were all big, looping haymakers. He he didn't set them up. He didn't throw any combos. He didn't throw any feints. He would, in fact, just telegraph them, hop in, and then throw the punch. And I'm like, 
man, and he wasn't, he didn't throw any combos. He really was not a, not a very talented fighter, but Hardy, he sucks just as bad. Greg Hardy is an awful fighter. I might do a video just on Greg Hardy, but the dude is just not good. He's not talented. He's a boring fighter to watch. That fight last night, he's fighting a total tomato can, and he gasses. He didn't really do anything as much as offense. He won that fight via leg kicks, pretty much. And, uh, you know, then he, he cheats by using albuterol inhaler, which we know is illegal. So, anyway, that'll bring us to... Uh, That'll bring us to, what's, what do we have next? Hardy, that thing rolled into a contest. Hardy, and then he was, what a piece of trash. And then we got the Chris Weidman fight. I forgot the name of the guy he's fighting. He's fighting, but uh, anyway, Chris, Chris is done. Chris needs to go ahead and hang it up. He, he's got, he's lost five out of his last six, I think. And I think it's six out of the last seven or more. I mean, he doesn't have it anymore. His his window is closed, and that's a sad thing because Chris Wyman was once a fantastic fighter, man, but he's, he was never the same after that Rockhold beat down. Rockhold beat him down, and it took everything out of him. That He didn't have a lot, a lot of warrior left in him after that, so sorry to see that because he was a great fighter one time, but he's taken too much damage now, been knocked out too many times. At 205, he fought a nobody, and, uh, you know, and he got sparked early, so he can't take the power. So, I mean, Chris Wyman's done. I'd just like to see him retire and uh, move on. I mean, the UFC's going to cut him. There's no way the UFC's going to keep him. If we see Chris keep fighting, he'll be saying, hello, Bellator. So, but I'd like to see him not fight at all, to be honest. He would probably do better in Bellator, but I'd like to see him not fight at all. I don't think, I don't think he needs to be out there taking any more damage. But anyway... Everybody have a good day. Got any comments? Leave them below and God bless.